Hello and welcome to the unboxing of this Canon EFS 10 to 18 mm f4.5 to 5.6 STM IS. So let's get started. So I took a while to decide on buying this lens because, well, okay, here are the information warranties and manuals. Um, to buy this lens simply because uh, I only have one main working crop frame sensor from Canon, or well, camera from Canon, and this is a weird bubble wrap from Canon. Well, I never seen it before. It's the second time I'm buying a non L lens, and the other lens is from my full frame cameras, the 50 millimeter, and this is, yeah, a wide angle um, lens. But the reason that I did not choose to well, the reason that I, that I took a while to buy this lens is because I only have one main working crop frame camera, which is uh, the 7TD, and yeah, otherwise I already have the 16 to 35 for both my 5Ds, and this is the actual lens. It's actually very, very small and very, very light. It's actually bigger than I thought it would be, but hey plastic mount but I don't really care so yeah usually if I want an ultra wide angle I just go with my 16 to 35 f4 which is here coupled with my 5d cameras which is over there uh, yeah and that would give me roughly this similar effects as I would get with this lens on a Canon 70d I really, really like having ultra wide angle lenses because it's my most used focal length. Well, it has my most used mo focal length there. Okay, the white to white. At first, I almost got white to red, but yeah. So, yeah, it fits quite compactly on my 70D. Well, yeah, that's pretty much the other reason why I really wanted to have this lens is because, okay, the price range, the sharpness, I generally stick between f8 to f14 with ultra wide. I don't go anywhere below like f2.8. And because it's light and it's small, well, a lot smaller than my 16 to 35 millimeter. And the whole set here, the whole setup is a lot smaller than my 5D and my 16 to 35. Sure, my 5D Mark III and my 16 to 35 millimeter makes a much better combination in terms of image quality or even video quality. And it's a little bit faster as well. And the L lenses do have that weather sealed and build quality and sh extra sharpness and everything. But it's just that if I'm only needing the lens itself or the setup to have let's say some pictures for Instagram or Facebook I don't want to use my 5D and my 635 because the quality between this setup and my 5D combination with a 635 is not noticeable in fact you can probably take the Canon 450D and mount this lens on and you won't even see the difference between that camera and this camera let's, when you put it on Instagram and Facebook so yeah, it's just to have a small setup for that. And you know, it's cheaper when I walk on the street and if I'm meeting up with friends. So then now I can use my 5D a little bit more for professional use rather than um, in the past that I always take this camera and the, the lenses, the L lenses to um, certain events where I don't really need that high performance. So now I can just use this setup when I'm meeting up with friends and going somewhere in the city and take some pictures and upload them for social network or something. This setup is fine. Yeah, and that was the unboxing of this 10 to 18 millimeters lens. And after this, I'll show some image sample and some video samples. Have fun, thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.